Ah. Started that a while ago. At Fulter's death. Yeah. That's up. Your. Your. Oh! <laughs> 
Speed of your arms!
never learn.
corpse has decomposed almost completely. Wounds, they're 
ripped open. Whatever attacked him was ferocious. The forearms are cut up pretty badly as if he had to defend himself. There's something embedded in the bone. A metal splinter. Interesting. He's grasping a few long hairs in his hand. Interesting. The head's in far better condition than the rest of the body. Just a few delicate bites on his neck. Dark rings around the eyes, like an anemic. Clothing ripped in many places. Hmm, traces of sulfur. Fingernail marks all over his back. <laughs> At least he had some fun before he died. Hmm, a book. Your body sizzled beneath my gentle caress. Sounds like Master Dandelion. He was young, just like the others. All the clues seemed to indicate a succubus. On the other hand, there's a metal fragment in the wound. Seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy, Ansem, and color bearer of the Dun Banner, the best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Fergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? Maybe. I don't remember. You wear the wool coat of the Dun Banner. If not for that, you would be a dead man. Try once more. The Battle of Brenna. You're right. Strength in unity. You lie. You are not of the... Danian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn. The repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? I don't know. You wear the wo- I am 
I'm beginning to believe you. Man Your memory has suffered after death. Cohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But I can't answer for this state. You were right. Memory often fails us after death. Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. But I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Most of the Dun died. The survivors withdrew south. The fires blocked our way back to our lines and we fell into Biggerhorn's trap. I know, the cowardly bastard. You have proven that you served in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. This one should be. It has stopped King Henzel's army from advancing. The Unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, He'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Where have you left your mind? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down.
Greetings. Greeting. Roach could be a... In that case, Alf. Say it again. Greetings. Humans are strange. Look, another one. Always in a hurry. You let one human in and in no time you've got us. Don't be afraid of him! I I found a volume of your poetry. My love poems! Some bastard stole them recently. Probably wanted to show off to a young lass smelling of sheepskins. Really missed this book. It was like being in a brothel with no balls. I owe you one, Geralt. Though I don't know quite how I will pay you. No, actually, I do know. Up for a shot of vodka? It's on me. I've got a better idea. Beer? That's fine. All the same to me. I need you to do me a favor. Name it. For this, I give you my chastity. If I still had it, of course. I wouldn't be interested. Don't tell me you need another poem for a noon wraith. Worse. Please, Geralt, don't get me involved in another messy monster matter. I'm an artist, not... That's precisely who I need to lure a succubus. Are you crazy? You want to see a hoofed hag ride me to death? On the other hand, we all have to die of something. Go to the burned down village after dark and wait for me there. Bite these balls! One freak bigger than the next.
Hugged a bear or what? I got a serious career proposal yesterday. From one of your best lads, eh? Well, Try me too. So, you're gonna become a squirrel. Hehe, <laughs> I'll listen politely. Can we go? I can't wait to meet this monstrous beauty. Her beauty's killed several men. Now you tell me. Like my friend Dandelion says, we all have to die of something. I'll have my eye on you at all times. So will she. Don't let her kiss you. I don't usually deny women foreplay, but I'll do my best. Let's do this. <clears throat> well, well, how should we begin? If our bodies could a song... My heart would inquire of your hands, pale and fine, if they'd grasp it gently to hold like a rose. Or, or treat it as a morsel upon which to dine. Who are you, gorgeous one? I'm a poet, milady. I've come to praise your unearthly beauty, if you'll do me the honor of revealing your full self. Indeed. I shall reveal to you all my splendors. Prepare more than your eyes. I am a feast for all the senses. Come with me for the adventure of your life, fair poet. I should get Geralt. On the other hand, I've never plowed a succubus. I am so unsatisfied. 
Lovers who compose poems praising my virtues. Delightful. But I've never had a true poet perform for me. She showed me her secret den. Thanks. I'll take it from here. I feel like a pimp. At least let me watch. Save your strength for real women, Dandelion. Damn. And it all looks so promising. <laughs> I don't remember inviting you, Geralt of Rivia. How do you know my name? I know a lot about you. You know how to satisfy women. I can make a man forget his worries and surrender to pure pleasure. You'll be well satisfied, I promise. Like all the other men you murdered? I've murdered no one. All who followed me experienced unearthly pleasures. You devour their energy like a swine gobbles spuds. I need their vital energies. I have no use for corpses. So if it wasn't you, who killed those young men? I can seduce anyone and hold them spellbound for as long as I wish. Unfortunately, one fool fell madly in love with me. Unable to accept my nature, he's killing my lovers. Who is this lover of yours? A beautiful elf named Elias. He asked me to investigate the murders. His way of throwing you off his scent. Luckily... You're no fool. The very reason I think you're trying to throw me off your scent. Did he show you the victim's bodies? He told me they were buried. <laughs> By him. 
Yet he massacred the corpses first to make it seem as if beasts had attacked the poor souls. I'm content to have you looking into the matter. Just be sure to see it through. Why should I help you? I want men to know that I give pleasure in return for their energy. But I don't take their lives. Hmm. Besides, I can give you something far better than Orin's. I'll talk to him, then I'll come back. I hope we can seal our friendship then. found the succubus. Did you kill her? She claims you're the murderer. You were supposed to kill the monster, not chat with it. I know what I'm supposed to do. I don't think so, not if you believed her. You lied to me. You knew a succubus had made its lair in the burned down village. I did. I thought you'd refuse to help me if I told you. You're right. I don't help murderers. That is pure nonsense. I killed no one. Liar. You fell in love with her and murdered your competitors. Succubi aren't exactly the most faithful partners. True, I love her, but the rest is hogwash. If I'd killed the succubus, no more men would have perished and you'd have gotten away with it. You don't understand. She manipulated me like she's manipulating you. Jorvith will learn of this. You'll hang for your crimes. You're mad. I'm innocent. Try anything. Clad like a soldier, had a feminine face to stir like awe, which, uh, and the breast, ah, Eden I saw, the virgin of Edda. Ah, greetings. Forgive them, hatred blinds them. Greetings, Gwynblade. Your Scoia'tael, Elias, is murdering people from Vergen. Any proof? Elias is one of my best warriors. I found a splinter from a blade in one of the bodies. Compare it to Elias's weapons. I'll see to it. Elias must have learned that I know the truth about his madness. He's fled the city.
not be put down like some dog. Fight! be put down like some dog fight
I'm pleased you put an end. You'll be blissfully disrobe and relax. As tempting as others might find you, I think I'll pass. On the sex, of course. Got anything else for me? Oh, what a shame. But it will be as you wish. In the box by the bed, I left you a small gift. Goodbye. Headmill. Greetings. What are you doing out here this late? Thinking. About what? About the approaching fight. As long as the Mist of Wraiths is up, there won't be a fight. I ponder something else. We women must leave the shadows. When fighting, we're equal to men. But off the battlefield. I'm not sure I understand. Care to explain? Were I the best strategist and the bravest warrior, they still wouldn't give me an army to lead, and all because I was born a woman. You're an exception. Not many women share your dreams. They do, Witcher, but they say nothing as they fear being ridiculed. You like being laughed at, singled out in a crowd? I'm a Witcher, a freak, 
I'm a sensation wherever I go. It won't be easy, but you could try to blaze a trail. A worthy endeavor in itself, I know. Thank you, Witcher. Godspeed. I killed Rivians before. Piss off. Greetings. How are you? Look, another one. You let one human in and in no He's time you've got to Fight these balls!
Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. or danger. You wanted to discuss... I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades... When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoia'tael leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the Elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the Troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Sheila ordered Letho and Triss... I can't believe... Believe it. I ran it... She must have meant the... Are you so sure? A misunderstood. Maybe. I need some. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take pitchforks to King Demavent's son. Why? The drag. Where's the. Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. Dogs. Forget and shoot. I rem Sarah's and Lords will never be on the same side. Geralt! It's good to see you. The commoners claim Stannis is involved in Saskia's poisoning. They're looking to slaughter him. What's stopping them? The knights, a dirty and noble lords. Not easy to raise a hand against a blue blood. A peasant by the name of Calton was at the council. He didn't seem to respect anything or anyone. Calton's a blackguard. He'll use any excuse to raid and plunder. He has a taste for noble blood. They say he buries gold looted from the lords in some gorge. Looks like things are getting nasty. Hear me! What do you want? I'm Skill and Balden. I keep order and Vergen. 
Or doing a nice job then? Where was you when they poisoned Saskia? Give us the prince! Get the flails! Stop! Jorvis! Squirrels! Everyone who wants to leave this yard in one piece, keep your hands off your weapons! I don't care if you're a serf or a lord! I'll kill you all if need be! What's going on? The servant carrying wine during the feast said that Prince Sternes and Olkan poisoned Saskia! We want justice! You want revenge. It's not the same thing. We don't care. Saskia's fallen as if dead, while the poisoning prince and noble lords rush to herd us onto the field and sell us to Henselt. We won't let them! You lie, Carlton. Nobody's being sold out. The poisoner must be caught and tried by law. Your law? What then? He'll pay a fine and get spanked on his ass. We'll spank him, all right, with an axe to the throat! Where's this servant? Safe. The Squirtel keep an eye on him. Why is the prince hiding in his house if he's innocent? Enough! I'll shoot the first to reach for a weapon. Then heads will start falling. There's more of us. You can't kill every... Then you'll be first. Now back off! We need to act quickly. What's your plan? I'll frighten them a little. Bleed them, if need be. I'll buy you some time. Question the peasants and the nobles, and talk to the dwarves. Maybe you can get to meet... Even if he's guilty, I'm sure he's... You'll know how to sort the sh... Also, find the servant who started talking, so... You won't have time to talk to everyone, though, that's for sure. Humans only care how their asses rise as stations do. They're playing into Henselt's hands. If they start at each other's throats, we'll say, Richard, come over here. What do you want? We of noble birth always had to protect the plebs from their own stupidity. If not for us, the world... I don't have time to listen. Know anything about the attempt? No, I don't. But whatever the truth, the mob... So truth means nothing. I didn't say I don't care about truth. Just... An order that if the prince turns out to be involved in this attempted murder, he should face a tribute. Or they do understand. Saskia is a wise woman who will sow the crops and milk. Saskia called the serpent. You may be right. Give this us this half flower. What would the prince fire. gain with the Rolling prince's death? Rolling down, you surly dog! dog. Your change your tone when we put I want to speak with the prince. You're unique then. Everyone else wants to tear. We won't let you. Only I can help your prince. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Are you mad? Silence! I'm in command here, and I grant the Witcher leave to enter. Please, master. Are you here to kill me, Mon- I'm here for your help. Do you hear them? They want my head. They equate the words of some village idiot with mine. Prince, if you help- If? So if I don't help you, this is a... What do you want? I need royal... Do you mock... You owe Saskia your life. It was her duty. As it would... Saskia and her rebels routed... Those rebels are the... And what then? Don't think that far ahead. Your Highness, just a few drops of your blood will cure us. I've already said I owe this girl nothing. And I'll certainly not surrender. Did you put? Of course not. Even I'm trying to help. I won't yield. Do you really think? Or maybe you merely need to convince them that you're innocent. And if I am innocent, yet lack proof thereof, you're trying. I want only to make a con. Guards. Show the witch is. Ev we had a chat. Think on what I told. I will. Go get the lads. We won't stand for this. Oh, ah, my hand. I'll cut the block off the next man who dares try his luck. Give us this whole power. Roll in dung, you surly dog! The prince has I'll a common I'll not waste my is... arrows on that rabble. Good. Who Bloody the bastard witches... poisoned the virgin! Greetings. You. 
Anything? Not really. The pe- and He's on very good terms with that damn death. Saskia's on the pier with pencils at the gates. The wraiths fill the mist and commoners and nobles are at each other's throats. This is nonsense. What would the prince gain with the virgin's death? I could tell you what he lost. Give us this whole power! power. Rolling as I down see it, you silly like dog! Guilt must be proven when we Otherwise, it's a vigilante justice. Save your threats for your hog smelling woman. The prince has a camp. Good. Bloody bastard poisoned the virgin. If not for that damned Yorvith, the serfs would probably be hanging the prince by now. He cannot be trusted. If he found proof of Stennis's guilt, he'd point his bow the other way. But if it wasn't for him, we could not defend the prince. Serfs and lords will never... Can we have a word? Why not? No thanks. The tableware in the council chamber is your handiwork? It is. Made it back in mere Farragut's time. Since then, each and every goblet has hit the floor dozens of times, and what happened? Nothing. Because they're steel. My goblets are indestructible, impervious to both the fury of- Saskia's chalice was- Aye, it was. Back in Mare- Who? That goblet was a gift. A way for the folk of Vergen to pay- The last liked it so much. Was the- Not a chance. It was supposed to be a gift. The other chalices were not. Of course not. Any chance there could have been two identical goblets? Why, there's no craftsman that comes close to me in. Could someone have tried to copy? Ha! I know of one who's been trying for years, but he's a fumbler, a screw up. He's not produced. See you with. Humans only care how their asses rise as their stations do. They're playing into Henselt's hands. If they stop, Tyre might have cared when alone. I heard. Shut your trap if you don't know what's going on. Anyone order an exquisitely adorned goblet from you? I get the occasional commission for tableware, sure. But what exactly are you talking about? Saskia's goblet. Was that your handiwork? That ugly bucket! Did you intend to offend me? Whoever made that thing should be whipped! I certainly hope Saskia orders her vessels from me next time. If she gets a chance to order anything again... Guilt must be proven. Otherwise, for that vigilante job. It's good to see someone's taking care of anyone so much as twitches. Why is he lingering about? Those witches be craving gold. He better search for a lad who served the virgin instead of pissing around. Yeah, once done with the prince, he'd better take care of the magnets. Throw in their weight. The prince stood right next to Saskia during the council. Did he have access to the wine cellar beforehand? How should I know? Why flap your mouth then? The prince is a wealthy l Just because someone can afford gold teeth. You know Saskia? Willie of the Oblates. He, he handled the wine, indeed, but loves the virgin like a sister. He'd gladly get caught. Where's this Willie of yours? Hiding in his shack. Farewell. Give us this whole power! Enough of this charade! Try to be reasonable, folks! Sit down and talk in peace! We've talked enough! Vergen's not a cesspit for anyone to shit in. There's no law allowing a serf to threaten a king's scion. I, Silgrat, brother of Seltkirk, the greatest knight to walk Edernian land, say so. Does it matter who was born in a castle and who in a pigsty? 
Any fool can prejudge and condemn. It's easier to accuse than to prove guilt. A peasant servant claims that Prince Stennis supposedly attempted to kill Saskia. Why would the prince do such a dastardly deed? Bear in mind how eminent is his lineage. That's why the mongrel covets the crown. Do you even remember how valorous he was towards Saskia during the negotiations with Henselt? Pretending to be with her, he was, sly fox. Taking the simple peasants in. But us lads ain't so dumb as... See for yourselves how the commoners hate the prince, spitting... Saskia's servant said that... Where is this servant, might I ask? If he's got something to say, why does he hide like a thief? The answer is simple. He's hiding to save his skin from... One last question. How could the prince poison Saskia? It's... No need to poison the wine. Smearing the poison in... I never heard of anyone po You haven't heard much then. One of the Emperor's forebears died after sampling some lamb. He was always scared of poison and ate supper with his cook. The murderer spread poison on one side of a knife. Then he cut the meat so that only a small piece was poisoned. The witch is right! Give us Stennis! Saskia's got her own chalice! It was commissioned from one of the dwarves. The order came with a very detailed drawing. Even so, how did it come into Saskia's hand? It's not clear how the prince poisoned the wine, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it. Stannis is blowing hot and cold! Everyone knows that! You were supposed to prove his guilt, not insult him, yokel. Tell us who else would do it! A peasant wanted to hurt the miss? Never. A pig won't cut its own throat! Perhaps it is no peasant's deed, however- Answer me this. Was not Stannis's room next to Saskia's? Do not the wines come from his own lights-ridden cellar? Yes! It's serene- Nobody in Bergen wants to kill Saskia. And even if they- It appears Stennis would benefit the most from Saskia's death. Your Highness, this is dangerous. I am not afraid. Fear is a commoner's trait, unfit- What do you want, to judge me? Is a prince a common thief who steals a dozen eggs at the market? You stand before royal majesty, and you raise your hands against it. In this world there are crimes that can be forgiven, and crimes that, by any means, cannot. Just as a mother killing her own child, or a man slitting his own brother's throat cannot be forgiven. A crime against one anointed by the gods themselves also cannot be condoned. He who raises hand... And what about you, you po- Firstly, Saskia is alive, so no one can blame me for her death. Secondly, you have no proof that it was I who tried to murder her. And thirdly, I assure all gathered here, I won't rise above the law. However, only she, the Virgin of Eden, can judge me. Can it? And if Saskia won't get well, who's gonna judge you? I believe she can be cured. But if the gods decide otherwise, we'll summon a coven of the wise who can pass just sentence. Those are words worthy of a true sovereign! I am the one you should look to for guidance. Let my deeds be the flame that light- So you've forgotten how you tried to bribe me when I was at your house? How about that, snout face? This is slander. There are no witnesses, Witcher. The Prince has a right to a fair trial, no matter if he's guilty or not. We can't deny him that. What will the peasants do if we hand them the Prince? Will they hear him out? No. They'll hang him from the nearest tree, or tear him limb from limb. What will happen if we allow a lynching? What if people see that might makes right? Who'll guarantee they won't desire to avenge their wrongs, real and imagined? Who'll protect people whose only fault is noble birth from the exasperated mob? And where will it lead? The peasants are furious. 
They didn't dare mount a frontal attack. But they haven't forgotten about Stennis, and won't. It'll be that way until Saskia regains consciousness. She won't keep order by strength alone. Unless it's a great strength. We need an authority figure. And royal blood. Five courts go to waste in the Dwarven dungeon at the moment. There's also Henselt. Going into that haunted mist is madness. Stealing Stennis away would be easier. No. Anything involving Stennis will cause a riot. I've had enough of the peasants and nobles barking. Saskia's the best leader I know. But she can't hope to defeat Henselt's army with this rabble. Which is why I'm going to get reinforcements. Where? Four Scoyatal units await in hiding to the east. Time to summon them. You'll make it in time? I must. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. The mist is full of wraiths. I'll help you. I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell, then. We still need royal blood. I know. Henselt. We need his blood, not his death. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not a Kingslayer? Oh, my God. 
I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Help! 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 